In this chapter of the walkthrough, we are going to go over the placement of interior walls and some of the features that are designed to make this process a little easier. But first, we need an interior wall. We left the last chapter on the Place Walls screen. Return to the Walls in Project screen. I am going to have you grab some assemblies. Click on the Assemblies icon. Once Assemblies is open, locate the Show Demo Project and click on the plus sign so that you can see the walls. Locate the 4-inch interior CMU wall. Left click on this wall and drag it to your Walls in Project screen. When the Copy Wall screen opens up, make sure that Odd Courses is checked and the field next to Openings has the word nothing in it. Now click on the Copy Checked Items button. The 4-inch interior wall is now listed in your walls. Note, if the assembly screen is still open, you may click on it once to bring it to the foreground and then click on Close. Double click on the interior wall and open up Update Wall. We do not have any changes to make, so click on the Place Wall button. All right, back on Place Walls. Let's take a look at some of the features and tools for placing interior walls. Open up the Place Walls tab. Just like the exterior wall, you have a placement type to choose. If your wall placement is a single line with no corners, then you would use Segmental. If the wall has at least one corner or turn in it, then you would use Continuous. Select Continuous now. Round off angle should still be on 45 degrees and round off length should still be on 4 inches. Remember to click on Start New when in Continuous mode when you are placing a segment that is not connected to the previous segment placed. Time to learn some new features. Under the Place Walls tab, you will find the Use IntelliPlace checkbox. IntelliPlace is used when you wish to connect a wall to the inside or outside face of an already placed wall. It will make the adjustment and connect it directly to the wall so you do not have to worry about placing your cursor exactly in the right spot. Click on the IntelliPlace tab and open up the IntelliPlace options. I do suggest you pause the walkthrough and utilize the help file to go over the more detailed options of this tab. We are only going to change one feature at this time. Click on the down arrow next to the IntelliPlace wall at field. IntelliPlace is mostly used for interior walls, but there are options to utilize it elsewhere. Select Face of Inside by clicking on it. Note, when placing a wall, you always work left to right and counterclockwise. The face of the inside wall will be the opposite of the side that is facing you when placing the wall. A good note to remember when placing the interior walls since it can be hard to distinguish on plain CMU walls. Moving on. Position your print so that you are looking down on the storage and supplies rooms. Make sure you are in pick mode. Now, place your first point by clicking on the outside face of the storage room wall on your floor plan and directly up against the inside face of the exterior wall. Place your second point on the corner of the wall and you will have a screen open up and ask to place or ignore point. The program asks this because of the IntelliPlace feature. The IntelliPlace is looking for the inside face of a wall to connect to. Click on Place and the program will ignore IntelliPlace and place the point anyway. Now, 
click on the last point in the wall next to the exterior back wall of the building. You now have an interior wall that butts up perfectly to the exterior wall. Click on Start New Segment and go ahead and place the wall that runs down the middle of the storage room. Note, remember, you can always delete any misplaced wall section by highlighting them in placements and clicking on the Delete button. You may also precision edit a wall section's length and placement by highlighting the wall section emplacements and doing a right click or using the delete button. There are still doors that need to be placed on the storage and supplies rooms. Click on the openings icon at the top of the screen. Once opening schedules is open, go ahead and click on the assemblies icon. Next, Head back to the Show Demo Project. Open up the project and then open the 4-inch interior wall. Now drag and drop the 4-inch inside door opening. Close the assembly screen and the inside door is now available in the ABC Project's opening schedule. Close out of opening schedules now. Click on the Place Schedules tab and position the floor plan so that you can clearly see the two doors you need to place. Now, make sure you have the opening schedule selected, offset is set to left side of opening, and use the down arrow to select the 4 inch inside door opening. Make sure you are in pick mode and left click on the left side of the first door and then the second door. Your doors are now placed. I would recommend you take some time and place some more interior walls. Do not worry that the four inch interior wall is not used for all of the interior walls on the floor plan. For the purposes of the walkthrough, have fun and place some walls. The interior wall chapter of the walkthrough is now complete. The next chapter in the walkthrough will cover the details of copying a wall.